Hello, I'm going to demo um, data ingestion into our Icehouse implementation uh, here in Galaxy. Uh, I'm going to uh, connect to a Kafka source and ingest that into an iceberg table. And so let's get started. So there's this new concept in Galaxy um, called ingest streams. Very simple to set up. You first uh, click connect to new stream. Um, I have an example topic uh, called pizza orders on Kafka and it's um, publishing uh, pizza orders. So, you know, when we get look at the data, it'll make, you know, you'll be able to kind of see the type of data in it, but it's things like store IDs and coupon codes and the status of the order and the actual order itself and, and so on. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good demo data set. I'm gonna choose a region. Uh, I'm gonna choose my, uh, I'm gonna enter in my broker here. Um, if you have more than one uh, broker, yeah, you just uh, comma separate them. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to use my access key and, and secret key to authenticate. Um, if you're using, um, you can do this with uh, Confluent or Open MSK, you can do kind of a cross account role as well. Um, the topic name is pizza orders and I successfully connected to Kafka. So next I'm gonna um, choose my target and you first connect a catalog. I've already created one. This is a, uh, a catalog uh, to um, uh, S3 and that's where the iceberg tables will be stored. Um, and I'm gonna choose the schema. Um, I've already created one, it was called streams and I'm gonna choose the, the table name. So. I'm mapping a Kafka topic to a table name. I'm choosing to name them the same things, but you don't you don't have to. Um, and then I'm going to choose the the bucket where this data will land. So this is in uh, my bucket, and then I'm going to give it a directory path prefix. So I'm just calling it Ice House. Uh, test connection, and that should succeed. Succeeded. Create target. Now what we do here is we read. Um, some messages off of the Kafka topic and we infer a schema. Um, and from here we can see what this JSON data would look like um, in a relational uh, structure here. Um, I'm gonna leave all these the same, but uh, you know, if we, we, we allow for it to be editable because there might be preferences or some domain you know, um, knowledge where you might wanna change data types or um, add remove columns or um, you, know, you can flatten nested data and, and so on. So it, it's, it's pretty flexible, but it's, I'm gonna leave the default here because it's, it's pretty good for this case. Um, and it's, uh, it's starting, it takes a few seconds to get started. Let me go to our query editor here. Um, so um, let's see if the table has been created. So we've created that um, table uh, called uh, pizza orders. The raw is where the raw data is landing. Um, and then we also have a, a table called, um, uh, or a view on top of that called pizza orders. Now the raw has some you know, metadata information associated with it. Um, it's, it's useful for, um, uh, to kind of understand ingest time, um, ingestion time and so on. But if you don't want to look at that metadata information, you look at the view that just, just drops that. Um, so if we run a count on this, it should have zero rows. Uh, it takes a few um, seconds to start um, ingesting data. So in about a minute, we'll start to see rows um, come into this table. So if we look at describing um, the table, this is what I was referring to earlier, um, kind of a lot of uh, information such as timestamp of when uh, the data was ingested, the topic name, and, and so on. Um, but we also have this, this view that really looks at the, the data itself. Um, so let's, uh, let's see if some data has landed in here. Not yet, uh, but any second now. So the other thing we can look at is there's a special um, table uh, that you can look at the file information associated with it. So if we run this query, 
Um, oh look, well we're talking about one one parquet file has has landed while we were talking. So let's go back to here and, and run a query. And you see that um, some initial data has landed. And let's take a look at the files and again. Um, oh, it looks like more have landed. So let's take actually a look at um, them so we can take a closer look at the details. I'm ordering by the file size in, in bytes. Um, and you can see that uh, we've, we've landed a few times. Um, and, and so, you know, this file has 115, 102, 96, 88, and so on. Um, and so data will continue to publish. So let's look at some of the data itself. And then let's um, try to count on the uh, table again. You can see that more data has uh, been loading as we're talking. So this will continue to load. Um, you can always um, uh, stop the stream if you want, if you need to pause it. Um, or it was continuously load as long as um, uh, data is being added to that Kafka topic.